My name is Eric Wielander. Welcome back to my channel. So Black Friday and Cyber Monday this year are full of a ton of deals. And I've gone through a lot of them myself and created a short list of ones I think you really might be interested in. And whether you're able to take advantage of some of these deals or not, I consider this a short list of some good smart home products I think you might really be interested in this holiday season. And there are links to all the products down in the description below. Starting off with Lutron, a brand I talk a bunch about on this channel, and their dimmer starter kit is 20% off at a lot of US retailers, including Amazon. And this comes with the Lutron Caseta wireless hub that you need for the system to run in your home, as well as a dimmer switch and one of their Pico remotes, which enables wireless control of the lights and you can use that Pico remote mounted any number of places and you can also use it to sort of replace a wall switch maybe in a three-way scenario. I think the Cassetta wireless system is one of the most reliable things out there in the smart home space. But one of the downsides is that their products almost never go on sale. So if you're looking to get into Lutron Cassetta wireless lighting by replacing the switches in your wall with smart switches, uh, this could be a nice way to save a little money on the upfront cost. Now, speaking of a brand that works really well, but often doesn't go on sale either, Sonos, they're having a number of discounts and they've kind of bundled some of their discounts into speaker bundles. So I've taken a considered look through them and here are some highlights that I think are worth looking at. First, if you wanna get the same exact sound system that I have in my basement setup, that's a Sonos Beam with two rear 1SL speakers. I think that sounds really good. Sure, it doesn't have quite the, you know, the full Dolby Atmos support and it doesn't have like tons of bass, but I think it sounds really good. And you can get that for $177 off at $677 total for those three speakers. Also, speaking of bass, I've heard really good things about Sonus's full size subwoofer. It's a force canceling woofer, which means you don't have like a lot of the rattle that you have from a lot of other subwoofers. And that is a very expensive product, but you can get it now on these deals for $600 US, which is about 20% off the retail price. And I should also note that Sonos now has a smaller subwoofer called the Sub Mini, but that isn't on sale unless you bundle it with other speakers. So you might be able to get a deal on it by bundling it with, let's say, a pair of 1SL speakers you could either use with the Sub Mini or put in another room. Uh, but the, the Sub Mini retails generally for $429. I haven't invested in either of these subwoofers myself. It's a lot of money to spend on speakers, but I have heard from people who have these speakers that they sound amazing and provide a really nice depth of bass to whatever Sonos speakers they're paired with. Now, another company I love and use a lot in my smart home is Eve. Now, a quick disclaimer, Eve has sponsored content on this channel, but this content is not sponsored by them. So Eve just released a bunch of deals right as this video is going live. And one of those is that the Eve room that I made a review on earlier this year uh, is 30% off. Now, this is a really good temperature, humidity, and air quality sensor to have in any room in your home and it is much more expensive than a lot of other temperature sensors you know you even see a temperature sensor get thrown in almost for free with other things like a motion sensor sometimes but the reality is a lot of those temperature sensors are not very accurate because they're not a good temperature sensor so uh, Eve actually works with a company called Sincerion to get really good sensors in the Eve rooms the temperature is going to be accurate as well as the humidity and air quality so I have two of these in my home and they are really good and then to get that 30% off is a nice deal as well. Speaking of another product I use a lot, I just connected one of mine to our Christmas tree in our home and that's the Eve Energy Smart Plug. So that is 20% off. I find smart plugs like the Eve Energy to be uh, just a good easy entry to smart home tech and can also make maybe a good gift for an Apple fan in your life who hasn't gotten as much into the Apple smart home. Now, if you're looking to get into HomeKit Secure video outside of your home, there aren't that many options in this category and Eve's outdoor cam, which I previously reviewed on this channel, is 20% off. And the beauty of it is it runs on continuous power from your electrical system. So you don't have to worry about changing out 
batteries like you do with some other outdoor cameras. Now, another great smart home company, which disclaimer has sponsored content on this channel, Acara, they have this system that you might be familiar with where you get a hub and then you can get an array of amazing sensors that attach that hub for a lot less than maybe competitor sensors. One of my favorites, the M1S hub, because it also comes with a color changing night light, but the M1S is 20% off. And if you want to hardwire your Acara hub into your network, like I like to do with ethernet, then you can go with what I use, which is the M2 hub. And that's more meant to sort of sit in some kind of a server closet it probably, but you know, it can go anywhere. Um, and that is also 20% off. Acara also has a bunch of discounts on their sensors. Their water leak sensor is 21% off. So only $15 a sensor. I find these to be a great way to just keep an eye on places you think leaks might occur in your home. And then you can quickly be alerted before they become a much bigger problem. <laughs> Another great sensor from a car that's on sale is their P1 motion sensor is 20% off. So about $16 US. And the thing I love about that one is that once you mount it, you can still turn the direction that the motion sensor is pointing. And if you've worked with motion sensors at all, you know that direction and where they're pointing and where they're not pointing is everything for them working reliably for the use case you want. So uh, the Acara P1 motion sensor is a great option to be able to uh, not only mount it on a wall or wherever with the sticky pad on the back, but then you can turn the sensor to get exactly the uh, direction you want for the motion sensor. Acara's vibration sensor is also 20% off, and that's a nice way to pick up on all kinds of different events in your smart home that aren't necessarily motion, but they do appear in HomeKit as a motion sensor, but then you can make automations based on vibration starting or stopping. And speaking of hooking up all these sensors, I mentioned their hubs at the beginning, but if you're into HomeKit Secure Video and using cameras there, Acara also has a number of cameras that support HomeKit Secure Video, and they can work as hubs as well for some of their sensors. Their G2H Pro camera is actually a really attractive price for a HomeKit Secure Video camera for 50 bucks on sale right now. And then their G3 camera, which has some more enhanced software features and pan and tilt options that you can do inside of a car's app, that is now on sale for $80 US. Now, while a lot of these deals I mentioned are specific to the US, Car also has those same sales in Canada and the UK. Slightly different percentages off in prices, but again, keep your eyes out for the same options in Canada. So let us know in the comments below, are there any Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals that you've seen that you're really excited about getting? I'd love to hear it, and I'm sure there's other viewers who would love to as well. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.